Hello YouTube, this is Rogue Cruiser with another commentary video. This is another online battle where it's a 10k battle where I command the Senate Romans and against an army of Scythia. Uh, this was a no rules 10k battle, so my opponent brought lots, lots of different cavalry, and he brought horse bunch of horse archers and archer warbands. Now, since this was a no, no rules battle, and he was Scythia, I was expecting lots of horse archers, along with uh, some other cavalry. And he didn't give, he didn't bring quite as many horse archers as I, as I thought he would. So, with uh, I assembled my army into this formation here with Intesudo, spread apart like this. Kind of an odd formation, but you'll see later on that it works pretty well. So uh, his archers basically are doing nothing to my urban cohorts and early legionary cohorts. But he is doing a decent amount of damage to my archers in the Then way back here I have two units of equites. They have one experience upgrade, I believe. And they're just gonna, I just set him way back here to get away from his archer fire. And then you can see on both sides he's bringing up his units. He has six units of headhunting maidens, three on each side over here. And then he has barbarian warlord. And looks like four archer warbands, two horse archers, and one unit of axemen. Now he's going to bring his cavalry down here, probably to try to smash my equites. But I take my fast-moving equites, and I'm going to move him around to his unprotected archer units over there. While he starts to surround my back with cavalry. Looks like I have four units of urban cohort and four He's gonna charge in here in a big mass, two units at a time. He's gonna try to surround my forces. He's also bringing his axemen. But while he's doing that, I bring in my Echotes and take out a lot of his archers and everything back here. And you see, he routes two of my urban cohorts basically right off the bat. But all my other units, I took out a Testudo right after that, and they start battling in this little circle. And his headhunting maidens have the armor bonus. So they are... They should be easily coming through my map. And they are also very infiltrated. But my infantry is holding their own. And he sees that, so he's gonna take his cavalry out and charge in again. see just devastation my equities took on his protected archers over here. And my infantry force is largely intact. And it, he's lost a lot of process. Because even though they have a head on the way of the penetration bonus, they don't the light cavalry and still can fight for them. Throughout this whole battle, it's pretty, it's pretty tricky to fight. But then, by this point in the battle, I saw I can, I can win this. At the beginning, I was, I was too sure of myself when he charged in with that massive cavalry force in my units. And then there, I killed great his gods be praised! The enemy general so is by killed. This point in the battle, Fear makes a home I, in our enemy's hearts. I had a, an advantage on him. has one unit of head empty maidens left. And I'm using my equites to mop up his forces running around back here. And I'm gonna keep my infantry here for a little bit. And I'm gonna slowly start moving them up. I'm going for his head hunting maidens. And you can see all my men are still fresh. 
and uh, uh, one of his units of returning head hunting maidens killed off those equites, but I still have one unit left that's gonna charge in and try to kill off these head hunting maidens. Surprisingly, my equites didn't really get in this battle, mainly because I didn't engage them with his cavalry. I engaged them with his archers. Soul Invictus played a pretty good game, but I'd have to say I played a better game, and it says average victory. Don't know how average that was. That was, that was pretty hard to. That was a pretty hard battle to win. If it was played slightly differently on my part, I probably would have lost. And let's see how much. Looks like my equites inflicted the most damage. Each each one got over a hundred kills. So good game to my opponent, and thanks for watching.